Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your one and only Hutch and the Clutch reporting for Sideline Stories, and I have Niall Davis here, former Kansas City Chiefs running back, third round draft pick in the 2013 NFL Draft, 96 overall. Now, how are you? Doing well, doing well. Thanks for having me. No problem, no problem. I mean, how does it how does it feel being a Houston representative in the NFL? You know, you former star running back for the Chiefs. So, how does that? What does that mean for you? I mean, it's uh. It was good for me. I mean, one of my biggest moments was actually in Houston, Texas, mm -hmm. um, in the playoffs, probably my fourth year in the league. Uh, anytime I was able to get back home and play in front of the whole crowd, you know, I enjoyed it. Okay, okay. And I know in August you had a workout with the Bears, am I correct? Yeah, I uh, was in camp uh, for the Bears, um, but I, I was released. That was uh, my sixth year. Okay, so what's kind of your status now? Right now I'm a free agent. Um, you know, obviously if I get a call, I'm, I'm going, but, you know, for right now, I'm just, uh, kind of taking care of my family and doing some other things that I'm interested in. That's good. So you plan on, you know, returning back to the game? Yes, ma'am. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. So what was your favorite city when you played in? My favorite city? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> my favorite city would have to be Houston. Ah, yeah, okay, cause, okay. Because when I came home, I was able to, you know, see my family, eat mm -hmm. good, I know, you know, the good restaurants to go to, and then, <laughs> you know, just being at home was a, was a good feeling. And it's nothing like the Houston food. Tell me about it. Exactly. Oh, my God. Okay. Exactly. Which team would you wish to play for again? If I had to come back, I would want to be here, because this really? is where my home is. Um, you know, it'll be, it's kind of like the Marshawn Lynch thing. You uh -huh. know, he was able to go back home to Oakland play in front of this home crowd. Same thing with Marcus Peters. You know, I would love to be here. Okay. And kind of want to backtrack to when you were in the NFL. Um, you made history your first season with the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. You had a 108-yard return touchdown, which was tied for the longest return in NFL history. So, I mean, what did that moment mean for you? I mean, that was big. You know, I got an opportunity twice in my career to, to make history. The first time, like you said, it was my rookie year. I was trying to, you know, make a name for myself in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and ironically, it was against Peyton Manning, a guy that, Ooh. you know, I I, um, I looked up to, who is actually a big uh, player in the game. It was one on nine, so that record can only be tied. It can't be broken. Uh, and it was just a, a great feeling afterwards. That's good. Um, what was one of the most challenging things you faced in the NFL? The challenging thing for me, it, uh, two things, I would say reacting to the game once you get a little older mm -hmm. and then um, you know figuring out another identity what else you can do you know um, in life other than football were the two things that I have to get adjusted to. Okay and what's something that you're facing now that's one of the most challenging? Um, right now I'm, uh, I'm just kind of learning how to 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 move away from game. I wouldn't say it's challenging, I would say it's just different. Mm -hmm. I think I did a good job of understanding, you know, that I can't be, you know, <laughs> in the league forever. So yeah. I, I've made a, a, some good decisions off the off the field, but there is a transition period mm -hmm. that every athlete goes through and uh, you know, you just wanna be make sure you best prepared for it. And I know you mentioned earlier that you you know you plan on going back into the game. So what could you do to make yourself indispensable? Well, for me, it's just staying in shape. You know, once you are a free agent, you just gotta stay in shape at all times. Keep your body uh, mm -hmm. um, up to up to par. You know, I do that. I run three miles every day. Oh, wow. um, I you know I stay in shape. I, I run my routes, kiss football as much as I can. <laughs> uh, I try to do all that, and you know. Do the other things that I do away from uh, off the field, but you know it's cool. And a lot of people don't really, you know, know your personal story. So what's what's now Davis's story? My story, okay, from Houston, <laughs> Texas, um, born, Missouri City, right? Yeah. So I went to high school in Missouri City. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, went to high, I was born and raised in Houston. Moved out. My mom was trying to get it, get me in high school, so she finally <laughs> did. She got a house of her own. Um, Came out here, went to school. I was a, uh, I was uh, the number two running back in Texas. Mm -hmm. Number two running, I was behind Christian Michael, good friend of mine. Um, you know, I was highly recruited. I could have went to any school that I wanted to. I chose to go to Arkansas uh, because it's SEC, and it wasn't too far from uh, from Houston, so I could mm -hmm. come home. Um, you know, 
when I got there, I did well. Um, had some pretty good years. Years there, uh, we was able to make it BCS, mm -hmm. which was first in school history, so that was big time. Um, then I got drafted. Mm -hmm. You know, I graduated from Arkansas. I got my degree. Got drafted. Went third overall, and uh, got to play in the league, man. Got to play with some guys that I, you know, that I grew up with, looked up to. Um, you know, your idols become your rivals type of mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> and uh, it was. It's been a great journey. And um, so right now I'm just kind of transitioning to other things that I had interest in and um, I'm keeping it moving. You said you got your degree. What do you think that most, what, what do you recommend most athletes do? I know some choose to stay two years, some choose to stay one, you know, three. So mm -hmm. do you recommend them going that route or, you know? Most definitely. Uh, you always want something to fall back on. I definitely encourage every, every guy that's trying to get to the NFL to make sure that he, um, finishes his degree, that's very mm -hmm. important. And also, self-educate, understand, you know, what's going on in life, listen to the news, <laughs> uh, educate yourself on taxes, on credit, on whatever it is that you are interested in, your passion, whatever you would do for free, basically. So uh, definitely be educated and um, aware. Okay, well, I'm just gonna ask you this quick question. Who's your pick in the Super Bowl? That is a good one. Okay, so I'm pulling for the Chiefs. Okay, okay. I think it could be Chiefs, Saints, mm -hmm. or Chiefs, Rams. Okay. Whichever one I think would be a good game because both of them would be like rematches. Uh, but I would like to see the Chiefs finally get a one. I know Andy been trying to get one. <laughs> uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, actually, I was pulling for Houston, but they're gone. So. And they're gone. Yeah. I, you know what? I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, so. But, you know, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Um, just follow Sideline Stories on Instagram and Twitter. You know? It likes Sideline Stories. <laughs> follow Sideline Stories. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, ma'am.